All right, looking at different types of roots. We've actually already done a little bit of this, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it again. So first of all, when you're just simplifying, remember what you're actually doing is going through and factor treeing it out and looking for pairs and stuff. But fortunately, a lot of these work out where they're already perfect roots. So for example, 81 squared of 81, you should know is just nine. Now, if you said plus or minus nine, that would technically be correct. When you're simplifying radicals though, I'm not as worried about you putting the plus or minus. If this was a solving question, if we were looking for what exactly an x equals or something, I would need the plus or minus because you're really not sure. But when you're simplifying, it's okay to just keep whatever signs are there. Uh, same thing on this next one, the square root of 144, you should really know is 12. P to the sixth, that might throw you off just a little bit if it helps. Remember that really means that you have six P's one, two, three, four, five, six P's. How many pairs do you have? Well, I have one pair, two pair, three pairs. So that's a P cubed on the outside for your answer. Okay, so just one way to look at that. The other way to do this is since you're taking the square root, again, we've already talked about this. You should remember that the square root is the same thing as the one half power. So if I do P to the sixth to the one half, I'm gonna write that down, P to the sixth to the one half power, one half again, you would multiply those exponents. One sixth time, or six times a half is just three. So a couple different ways to look at it. Question three, it does already have that plus or minus sign in front of there, so you should definitely keep the plus or minus sign. Again, square root of four is just two. A to the tenth, the square root of a to the tenth would just be an a to the fifth power, okay? The fifth root of 243, you might not know that off the top of your head. Um, that's okay. Feel free to factor tree it out. Quite honestly, off the top of my head, I'm not sure. I'm going to cheat a little bit and use a calculator. But, you know, whatever works for you. It's actually 3. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Whatever. 3p to the... All right. Take a second here. If I have 10 p's, how many groups of 5 do I have? That's two groups of five. Again, if you need to write it out, write it. Your 10 P's, look for groups of five. You'll have two. Or again, five, the fifth root, is the same thing as the one-fifth power. So P to the 10th to the one-fifth would be just squared. Okay. Same thing here. The negative is already out in front, so just keep the negative in front. Again, you're going to divide this number by the root number. So that would be M to the second, N to the third. Okay. This one's fun. This one uh, tricks people every once in a while. What is 3x minus 1 squared? And then you take the square root of that. Well, if you remember, square root and a square, that's like saying, what is the square root of x squared? It's just x. So in this case, that's just 3x minus 1. Done. You should love that question. 7 is back to a square root. So square root of 16 is 4. Square root of a to the 10th is just a to the 5th. Square root of b to the 8th is b to the 4th. And I'm done. 121, square root of that is 11x to the third. Ooh, here's a fun one. All right, what is the square root of 4k to the fourth? Okay, well again, I could rewrite that square root as a one half power. So 4k to the fourth to the one half would be the same thing as just 4k squared. Okay, notice the square root, yeah. And that's not because four, uh, the square root of 4 is 2, right? That's because 4 divided by 2 is 2. If you were going to simplify this a little more, you could go ahead and say 16k squared. Again, in this next question, the plus or minus is already there, so keep the plus or minus there. Square root of 169 is 13r squared. Again, the negative's out in front, so keep the negative out in front. Square root of 625, anybody? 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 625 is, um, hmm... No, I'm not cheating and using my calculator right now. I knew that was 25. Y, Z squared. Okay. Square root of 36, 6. Q to the, mm, 34. Square root of 34, no. Q to the three, 34th power, what's the square root of that? Remember, that's really just 34 divided by 2. So that's Q to the 17th. Okay. Ooh, what about the square root of 0.64? you're not sure, well, you could do a couple things, but you do know the square root of 64, that's just 8, so the square root of 0.64 is actually just 0.8. P to the 5th. 
Okay, here's another one, kind of like this question we had right here. What is the fourth root of 2x to the eighth power? Okay, remember that means you're just going to take the 8 divided by 4. Okay, 8 divided by 4 is 2, so that's the same thing as 2x squared. Or if you wanted to simplify that a little, you could put 4x squared. Same exact thing in this next one. What is the square root of 11y squared to the fourth power? So you could go through all the steps to simplify that, but it's just totally unnecessary. Okay, I have 4 11y squared. So how many groups of 2 is that? That's 2. So this is just 11y squared squared. Or again, if you wanted to simplify that, that's 121y to the fourth power. Okay, mm, 16 is an excellent question. Before you can really simplify that, don't get crazy and start saying that that's just, well, that's 6x, okay? The only way to do this is to try to factor what is underneath that square root sign. And you could easily do that, right, using all the factoring methods we know. This one does happen to be a perfect square. That's just 6x minus 1 squared. If you don't believe me, you can check that out, foil it back out. So what is the square root of 6x minus 1 squared? Again, that's just 6x minus 1, and done. So this homework assignment should be super duper easy. Uh, down here in the bottom should be equally as easy. We are actually using a calculator to approximate these. So the square root of 62 should be something you know how to put into the calculator already. Square root of 62, it does say approximate to three decimal places. So that is going to be 7.874, okay? Same thing with the next one. I could go ahead and do the square root of uh, 1,050. Again, it's going to give me a decimal. That's okay. That's 32.404, okay, because I know how to round. Rounding to three decimal places means I look right there. The number after that's a 7, so anything 5 or bigger is going to round this number up, and then I'm good to go. All right, so maybe you know how to put the square root in, but do you know how to put a cube root in? So there's actually several ways you can do that. I think the easiest one is to go to math number four. It does make a cube root for you. Math number four, and then I could just type in my number, 0 0.054. What is the cube root of that? Again, rounding it to a de three decimal places, three so again, check out right here, one, two, three. The nine rounds the seven up to an eight, so it's three, seven, eight, okay? The other way you could do that is that you know that uh, the cube root is the same thing as that to the one-third power. So if you think that's easier, you could do that that way too. I kind of think there may be a menu under alpha too that has one, but I'm not personally gonna worry about that. So same thing on this next one. I'm gonna do negative and this one's a little trickier. You're going to have to type the, well, actually, that's not true. You're going to have to type the 4 first, and then it's math number 5. It gives you the option to do any type of root. The only problem, I don't think you could put the negative first, because then I think it'll try to do a negative fourth root, which is not a real thing. You shouldn't do that. Don't do that. So the easiest way is to just do the 4 math number 5 and then just make your answer negative. So 5.45, fourth root of that is 1.528. Again, because that nine rounds it up. I know this is gonna stay negative though because there was a negative in front. Okay, number five, the cube root of negative 15. Again, I can do math number four of negative 15. Again, it's gonna give me an answer negative 2.466 and then the last one is another square root which you definitely should be able to do. Ew, too many zeros. Two. Cool. 